everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to do an updated brow routine. I feel like I've gotten a lot of extra brow attention lately. Like people are giving me compliments and you guys have been telling me they look good. So I thought I might as well show you in a detailed way what I've been doing. It's still really, really easy. I only use three products and you really only need two or I only need two, but I don't I don't even know why I do the third one, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Not a lot of thought goes into it, but obviously I need brows. This is what I look like without my brows filled in. I feel like I look like a baby and my brows are naturally just like really, really light. So I darken them and I feel like a finished person. A finished person, yes, like a whole person. I just think it completes the picture, okay? Here we go. First, I start out with this Tweezer Man brow pencil. It's a double-sided kind of thing, and there's a highlighter on this side, but I rarely use that. This side is just kind of like a ashy brown kind of color, and I just use this to really define the brow as a beginning step. First, I work on defining the top edge, and then I kind of just shade down. I also extend the end just a little sometimes. Generally, I just try to keep the shape what it is, but I define it to make them look more angled and just stand out more. It's really nothing crazy. That's better already. Next, I go in with this Wet n Wild Brow Kit, and it's the ultimate brow kit, and number 963 Ash Brown. And I really only use this middle lighter brown color, and I use it with this little Sonia Kashuk like travel angle brush. I don't know why, but this is my favorite eyebrow brush. I've had it for years and years. I think I got it in a little travel brush kit, and for some reason, it's just nice and short and dense. It just works great for my brows and I really like the size. It's tiny and it looks weird, but I just have a lot of control and I really like this brush. I don't ever try to make the front part too square or structured, so I start a little further back. And other than that, I pretty much just use the powder in the same way that I use the pencil. Darkest at the top and then kind of just shading down. Next, since it always seems a little bit too dark after that step and a little too perfect, I bust out my little spoolie and kind of blend it out a little bit. There's nothing really special about this spoolie. You can get them pretty much anywhere and they just give them away for next to nothing. Almost. You know what I mean. Now here's that last step that I was saying that you probably don't need. I didn't realize there's actually four steps, not three steps, but this is the fourth step. And I don't really know how much it actually helps me, but sometimes I do it, so I'm showing you. It's just a clear mascara, but I use it to make my brows lay down. It just barely works. Mine are crazy. They're like fluffy and they stand off my face. And I've noticed that other people's don't act like that. And it's weird and they don't ever want to lay down, even with the brow gel. Behold, one finished brow. Now I'm doing the other one. You know the drill, sisters, not twins. Just listen to your heart. They don't really have to match. When I think about the whole sisters not twins thing, I always think about like my little sister and I because we always get told that we look exactly alike. But really, it's just because we have similar hair and we're both tall and thin and no, we're not twins and we don't look like twins, but people love to be extreme and you don't just get, are you sisters? No, it's straight to, are you twins? It's kind of crazy. So just make them those kind of sisters that just immediately make people want to be like, are they twins? Do it that way. It will work. I promise. All right, so here are my finished brows. I told you it was easy. And just to tell you an extra secret, when I'm really, really lazy, I just use the Wet n Wild Brow Powder. It is what it is. I love brows. I cannot live without them. I'm just one of those people. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, just hit me up down below. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram. And I always love hearing from you guys. And if you would, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Hello flyaways. Lay down. This is kind of like my Cher Horowitz kind of clueless 90s half up kind of do. I don't know if you're very familiar with that movie. She does this hairdo like I think at least once.